next recording, I'm going to show you how to add movement to uh, an animation in Photoshop. So we've got two layers here. Again, I can't. If you've watched uh, the one on fading, you should already know this, but we cannot animate a locked layer. So I'm going to just go ahead and unlock this layer by double clicking it, giving it a name. I'll go ahead and call it background again. Hit OK. It's now unlocked. I'm going to call this layer Paris. I don't need this mask anymore. So I'm going to right click on the mask and say apply layer mask. And so now Paris is just cut out. I am going to animate her from off screen on this side to off screen on that side. When you're going off screen, you really need a little bit more room to see off the sides or you'll move her off screen and you won't be able to grab her to move her to the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Image, Canvas Size, I'm going to click Relative, and I'm going to say Percent, and I'm just going to set this to 200 by 200 percent. Hit OK. So now if I double click my hand tool, I've got all this extra space around it. I am going to turn on my timeline. So I'm going to drop down to Timeline and say create video timeline and now the layer of Paris I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna come here and open up my options I'm gonna turn on position this time and so I want Paris to be off screen to the left to begin with I'm gonna grab my move tool auto select layer is turned on I am going to click hold down and drag just off screen to that side. I'm going to move this to the middle. I'm going to add a keyframe here. I will pull Paris back on to the center of the screen, about where she was to start with. I will move this to the end and I will add a keyframe and then I will drag Paris off this side. Now that I've got the animation complete, I can test it. I can hit play. And here we see Paris moves across the screen. And that's all good. I want to crop this down now, so I'm only seeing that original background. So I'm going to click my crop tool, and I'm going to bring this in so that I am just showing the original background. And once I get my crop tool set, I'll click the checkbox. And so now I'm just down to that. I'm going to hit rewind. I'll hit play. And there, Paris moves across the screen, missing part of her arm. Paris was off screen when I cropped. Damn it.